Kaude. Ayo, your take on this. Yes, all right. So very quickly, I'll just say that's the beauty and power of democracy playing out there. The right to pro peaceful protest, which the PDP has done in Abuja yesterday, protesting the outcome of the presidential election, which took place on Saturday, the 25th of February, 2023. No surprises there, um, as they have complained that this was a it was quite um, a show of shame in terms of how this played out. They have complained about the process and complained about the fact that they felt that the INEC chair was hasty in announcing the winner and the outcome of the elections, despite the many controversies that marred these elections. The PDP is not alone in this stance, even though they're the only ones who'd come out to protest yesterday. Um, other political parties have joined them in saying this, in, in taking this stance, and some international observers have also talked about the election not meeting the expectations of Nigerians and marred by a number of irregularities. Even INEC themselves have come out to say that there were some um, issues or challenges uh, faced during the weekend. So again, um, this is just a peaceful protest. They have they, they, they have said they will be going to court and they have applied an expertise um, order to the appeal court to ask that they are able to inspect the materials that be used that, that were used on Saturday, including the beavers. And that brings me to the first story you talked mm. about. Um, Rafai, in terms of INEC seeking to reconfigure the beavers and the controversies around this. Some people have called this uh, conspiracy theory. Some people have called this, so why, what well, much ado about nothing? It's just routine maintenance by INEC. But this is quite suspicious. You know why? Because um, the um, two political parties who were the second and who came second and third, respectively, PDP and Labour Party, have gone to the appellate court as well to seek an order, like I said, to inspect the materials used. And a critical material that would be inspected and would become evidence, um, um, evidence in court is the beavers. So the question of the timing for the reconfiguration of um, beavers, even though INEC has said, and we must be fair in terms of the reasons they've given to want to reconfigure before Saturday's elections, is so that they are able to prepare for the gubernatorial and state house of assembly elections. To simply put, what does it mean to reconfigure? It means to reset or rearrange elements of a system. In this case, the software, and sometimes they, they rearrange the settings. Now, what the parties are saying is that if they do so, there's the possibility of them taking, of, of changing certain things that would impact the outcome or the evidence they present before court. Why are people, uh, why are people suspicious of INEC moves? Unfortunately, INEC hasn't proven to the people that they are credible based on the way that the elections were run. We've talked about the lack of integrity in terms of how, this, um, how they ran the elections on Saturday, particularly with regards to what they said emphatically. They've been quoted a number of times saying on, and they failed on, which was very important for the transparency of the, of this, of the, of the last elections. Therefore, they've asked their legal team have also, um, I've, I've put an application to the courts asking for reconfiguration, and they're saying that if they don't reconfigure on time, it could potentially mean that they would have to postpone the elections. And, and, and you know what I say, Rufai and uh, Dr. Bati, the truth is that if it would mean that Nigerians feel confident in the outcome of elections, then if it means them halting, if they are not ready, then they should not, they should not go ahead. We don't want a situation like this. When people feel aggrieved or they feel cheated, what you see yes, or what you saw on, on screen a few minutes ago is what will happen, and that's even peaceful. Thank God for that, that things have been peaceful, peaceful, and we encourage Nigerians to continue to maintain the peace and seek redress legally. However, if INEC say that they have to do certain things before Saturday or before the gubernatorial elections must hold, then we will wait until they do that. But let the Labour Party and the PDP go inspect the materials, let the courts, because they're still going to approach the courts, let the courts rule before they begin to tamper with or touch this equipment. That's what Nigerians are asking for. Okay, let's cut to the chase. And it is as follows. INEC coming forward to say it should be allowed to reconfigure beavers uh, ahead of the March 11 gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections will amount to seeking to tamper with the evidence. The rest, in this case, before the uh, 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 presidential election petition tribunal represented by the Court of Appeal is a beavers. So if we tamper with the rest in any particular case, then of course you have uh, already derailed 
the expectations and the substance of the matter before the court. And I do not think that INEC should be allowed in any way whatsoever to tamper with the evidence. If INEC goes to reconfigure, then it means that the main issue in the case, I, uh, Beavers and uh, IREV, will have changed. And the uh, uh, ex parte order injunction granted last Friday by the court allowing the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party to inspect evidence and collate evidence, the, that uh, order would have, rendered, would have been rendered in nullity. INEC says that if it is not allowed to reconfigure beavers, then the March 11 elections will probably not hold. That's blackmail. Cheap blackmail. Cheap. And that blackmail is unacceptable. It raises the question about the credibility of INEC as an institution and the integrity of the personalities in charge of INEC. And that is as follows. Before the election, on February 25, INEC told everybody that they were ready, they were prepared. INEC even went as far as saying that in the event of a runoff that may be invoked by Section 134 of Section 3 of the 1999 Constitution, that INEC had already prepared for extra ballot papers. They were preparing for uh, the possibility of a runoff. They did not prepare for the possibility of having enough beavers and IREV, IREV that will work on the day. So I think it will be very difficult, you know, for many Nigerians to accept this. And, uh, you know, INEC keeps knocking at its own integrity. And I have said that after all this is over, I don't know how Professor Yakubu Mahmoud will be able to raise his head in distinguished company in this country. Uh, INEC chairmanship being a graveyard of reputations, and it looks like, uh, you know, Yakubu Mahmoud uh, may go the way of some of his uh, predecessors in that office. That's that about INEC. The second part of it is the protest by the People's Democratic Party. We're so far